everybody. I'm Bill Capone with the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission. And at long last, we're here to mark the start of construction for the new Route 29 interchange, a project that many people here and many people who uh, were unable to join us today have worked on for, uh, very hard for more than a decade. And we're only here because of the cooperative efforts of state, county, local officials, the business community, and the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission. And as many of you know, this has been an item of discussion in this part of Chester County for many, many years. And I think at the end of the day, what we end up with is a terrific transportation project that's really going to benefit the employers in this part of the county by allowing people in a greater area around this region to have better access to uh, these places of business. And at the same time, even have, I think, a tremendous impact on the areas further out, particularly further west on the turnpike down in the Berks County area. That's going to allow employees to travel a little bit further in a little less time to get to their place of employment and as a result give opportunities that they didn't have before. So while there's been a lot of great debate and discussion as to whether this is the right project at the right location and those discussions have then come together and allowed for this project to be where we are today, uh, that is a testament to the Turnpike Commission's desire to undertake and fulfill its number one mission, that's to provide better transportation services to the people of Pennsylvania. This is more than just a ramp for cars. This is a ramp that will guarantee the economic future of this county. And understand that well. We, thanks to the senators, have been able to put together, we've put together a $523 million investment program in Chester County infrastructure. Not only do we have the slip ramp, not only will we be starting Route 202 in its dedication in April, but we also will see the expansion of three lanes of the Pennsylvania Turnpike to the slip ramp and in a few years later from the slip ramp to Route 100. Great moment for all of us uh, to see our quarters go to work. The bottom line is this is a project that was paid for with our tolls. And the most important thing is it's a, it's, a, it's an investment. And it's an investment in the commerce to this region. And this is the kind of infrastructure improvement that's going to bring continuing economic development and jobs and economic prosperity to this region. Uh, we're very pleased with, uh, with where we are now. Obviously, uh, many of these projects take a lot longer than everyone would like. But uh, this one, I think, in the end, is going to prove to be a very valuable uh, showcase of how toll roads uh, can interact with, uh, with their communities in the future. Um, this, this particular uh, example is, uh, is, is really a, a highlight for us because we've got a four, four movement, uh, all electronic tolling interchange uh, that is going to prove to be the model for uh, toll road application in the future. Uh, it's gonna take 10,000 vehicles a day off of these roads, uh, which are already uh, some of the most congested in the Commonwealth and it's going to serve as a, as a great link to, uh, to economic development as we can see by the interest uh, from all the folks that are here today.